Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, let's see how we can end a session in order 15 point of sale. Now, in order 15, point of sale has all features working directly from front end. So, cashier no need to go to the back end to perform uh, these operations. So here from point of sale dashboard, we can find our shops and bars. And here you can see for the shops, last closing date and last closing cash and balance. And you can start a session from here. So you can see we can add an opening cash control. So before opening session, we have to add an opening cash. So here we can add coins and bills, open the session, and here we can select the cashier, the session, and we can sell products from here, we can add products to order line, choose a customer, order the products. We can validate the payment after choosing payment method. We can generate invoice. And here we can uh, view our receipt. We can send our receipt and generate your invoice as mailed to our customers. Customer and again we can create a new order. And if you have uh, taken some money out of the cash box, you can click on this cash in or cash out and choose a right button. So if you're taking money out, you can click on this cash out and specify the amount and reason and you can click on confirm. So successfully made a cash out of 70 and same way if you uh, are putting some money in the cash box that also can be done and you can confirm. So 100 is put in the cash box. So now if the cashier want to close the session or end the session from here, so you can view the closing control details like the order uh, details, order amount and the expected cash in the cash box. And here we can also add the real quantity that is real cash in the cash box. And you can also find the difference that is different between expected cash and counted cash. So now uh, by default, the counted is will be set as zero. So here we have to add the real cash. Uh, suppose if uh, you only found 20,000 to 89.59 in your cash box, you can see here there is a difference of negative 3,000. So there is a loss that is 3000 loss. And with the difference, we will not be able to close the session. So one thing we can do is that we can accept the payment difference and post it as a loss or a profit or loss by creating a profit or loss journal entry. And we can also set an authorized difference for our session. Uh, that is for our shop. That can be done from our point of sale settings. So right now, let me accept the payment difference and post uh, this and post a profit or loss entry. Now be able to close the session. So now after ending the session, you will be able to view the last closing date and last closing cash uh, in that session, that is in our previous session. And from our accounting uh, reporting, that is we have a profit and loss report. So if you check that report, there we can find a profit or loss. So uh, here you can see cash different loss. If you check the journal items, you can see uh, we have a loss 3000.
now if you want to view all uh, our sessions you can come under orders where we can view our open sessions um, so you can see there are a lot of sessions closed and posted and some are in progress and you can see some are closing control so when you click on this you can see it is not closed and posted it is in closing control and here we can see the total orders in this session total payments then journal items and cash register and you can simply close the session and post entries uh, from here also then uh, here we can see one in progress So if you click on this continue selling, directly you are entered to that session. So this one is a bar. So from here we can end the session. And now when you try to end the session, you can see there is an error message shown that you cannot close a point of sale when orders are still in draft. So here you can see we have one order in draft stage. So we have to confirm that only after that we can close the session. And if you want to close the interface and by keeping the session open, you can click on this keep session open. So that's how we end the session in order 15 point of sale. And if you haven't watched our video, uh, cash control in order 15 point of sale, uh, please do watch that. So you will get a clear idea on how uh, cash controlling is done using order 15 point of sale. So that's all for this video. And if you are looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, Drop a request to odwardsidebrosis.com.